To perform an automatic calibration of the Gold CGI, we will need the instrument itself, the cal station with instrument hose, and the calibration gas with regulators and cal adapters. This is a four gas instrument set up for natural gas, so we will need a combination bottle of 50% LEL methane and 100 parts per million carbon monoxide attached to both the black and yellow inlet of the cal station through a Y adapter. A bottle of 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide attached to the orange inlet a bottle of 100% by volume methane attached to the red inlet. And if this instrument were set up for propane, we would need a bottle of 50% LEL propane attached to the white inlet. To begin, power on the instrument by pressing and holding the A button. The model type will be displayed along with the version. There will be a system check. The date and time will be displayed, along with the gas type and the serial number. There will be a brief warm-up, after which the instrument will auto-zero and the screen will advance to the working display. After the instrument has gone through its warm-up process, place it in the cradle of the cal station, attach the instrument hose to the end of the gooseneck, and enter into smart cal mode by pressing and holding the A button for approximately two seconds and releasing. On the cal station, press and release the calibrate button, and the calibration process will begin. The instrument has been found. There will be a flow check and a 60 second purge. After the purge is complete, the instrument will auto zero and then calibration will begin with either 50% LEL methane or propane. The first calibration for this process will be the TC sensor, which is internal in the instrument, followed by the 2611 sensor, or LEL sensor, at the end of the gooseneck. The next calibration in this case is 100 parts per million CO. followed by 25 parts per million H2S. During each portion of the calibration, there will be a number displayed on the bottom line of the instrument display. This is the output of the sensor currently being calibrated, and it is useful to reference during troubleshooting if any issues should occur. After each portion of the calibration has passed, data saved will be displayed on the instrument and passed will be displayed on the cal station. The final calibration point is 100% methane.
There's one final O2 test, and the calibration is now passed. We can clear out of the calibration menu on the Cal Station by pressing and releasing the Calibrate or Clear button. Exit out of Smart Cal mode by pressing and releasing the A button on the instrument, and calibration is now complete. For automatic calibration of propane, we first need to change the gas type in the user menu. To do so, enter into the menu by pressing and holding the B button, and scroll through the menu by pressing and releasing the C button until gas type appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button, and if natural gas is selected, press and release the B button to select propane. Save this setting by pressing and releasing the A button, and then again to return to the work display. To begin, enter into the SmartCal mode on the Gold CGI by pressing and holding the A button for approximately two seconds and then releasing. And we can attach our instrument hose to the inlet of the CGI, and press and release the Calibrate button on the Cal Station. The process will begin when the device has been found. And we will first have a flow check, followed by a 60 second purge. After the purge is complete, the instrument will auto zero and the calibration will begin. Because the gas type of this gold CGI is now set up for propane, the first gas is 100 parts per million CO. Once a stable reading has been achieved, data save will be displayed on the instrument, and pass will be displayed on the Cal Station. The number on the display of the instrument is the raw output of the sensor and is useful as a reference when troubleshooting if any issues should occur. The next gas is 25 parts per million H2S. followed by 1.1% by volume propane. There are two portions of this calibration. First the 2611 or LAL sensor at the end of the gooseneck, and now the internal TC sensor. Calibration is now passed. We can remove the instrument hose from the end of the gooseneck. Exit out of the calibration mode on the Cal Station by pressing and releasing the Calibrate or Clear button, and exiting out of Smart Cal mode on the instrument by pressing and releasing the A button. Allow the instrument to clear for up to 60 seconds, or until all readings are zero, before powering the instrument down. To verify the calibration date, Enter into the user menu by pressing and holding the B button, and scroll through the user menu by pressing and releasing the C button until Show Cal Log appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button, 
and on the screen we will have each sensor and the most recent calibration date for that sensor. We can scroll through by pressing and releasing the C button to view CO, H2S, LEL, natural, and propane for this case. Pressing and releasing the C button again, we'll exit to the user menu, and we can exit to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button.